Okay, we're doing a solenoid type idle air control motor scope test using the Pico scope. Uh, this vehicle happens to be a 2003 Ford Windstar with a 3.8 liter engine, but this is typical Ford design idle air control, and this would be the same on just about every other solenoid type idle air control valves. These are pulse width modulated or duty cycle controlled, whatever term you choose to pick. Uh, these use a variable on off signal to control magnetic field strength and it controls valve position. A strong magnetic field means it's open more. A weak magnetic field means it's closed more. These are spring loaded closed. And let's take a look at the scope waveform and see what it looks like. Um, what I have connected is my red trace, my uh, positive lead from my scope is connected to the control wire which is uh, white with a blue stripe on this vehicle. This is a 12 volt feed and this is a switched ground. So it's pulsed on off to control the magnetic field to control current flow and I'm monitoring the control wire. My black lead is connected to a known good ground so I am connected to battery negative for my black lead and let's take a look at what this looks like now. All right, so we're, we're on the scope now. I'm using my smart board. makes it a lot easier to see what we're doing. And uh, I'm going to use the automotive section in the Pico scope, preloaded scales, go to actuators, and I'm going to go to idle speed control valve. If you were dealing with a stepper type by the wear control motor, that would be down here. We're doing this one. It is a electromagnetic, I call it a solenoid type, idle wear control. And uh, they're giving you some examples of um, how to connect it, which I've already showed, a description of it, and uh, they're giving you an example of a waveform, what it should look like. This one uh, in particular is a sawtooth pattern. They're not all sawtooth patterns, but this is an example of one, and it gives a description of what it does, and uh, very nice for uh, someone that's learning about these, a nice description on what it does, how to test it, what you're looking for. Uh, hit back, close the window, and now our, our preloaded scale is set. We're on a 50 millisecond screen, or five milliseconds per division, on a zero to 20 volt scale. Now, by no means are these scales going to be perfect for every car you look at. It's going to be unique to the car you're working with, and you can play with the scales from there, but it is a good starting point. Go ahead and start the car. Still a frozen picture. Just hit the green go button. Hit your space bar if you're by your laptop. And you see our screen it looks nothing like the preloaded picture, the sawtooth. But it is a solenoid, an on-off solenoid. It's ground side switched. And what we're looking at is the on-off of this solenoid. Um, if we zoom in on this a little bit, we can just do that up here. You can change your time base too if you want to to change it. Uh, this gives you a little bit more detail of what you're looking at. My preference, um, I would change this. Uh, just my own personal preference, I'm going to go to a 50 volt because I don't need, uh, I don't need it to take up the whole screen. Um, normally when I'm doing testing, I'm, I'm checking other circuits too, so I like the 50 volt. And it seemed to be much more stable. Did you see that blipping out down there? On the 20 volt, when I changed it to 50, it seemed to be more stable. Those voltage spikes were affecting that frequency measurement. Um, the other thing you can play around with too, you can change your sampling if you want to and get a little bit more detail. Um, you know, that's going to be up to you and that's going to be unique to the application. Um, the other thing that I would like to do, I'm going to throw a, I'm going to throw a trigger up here. And that's going to keep the picture from walking on me, and that's going to allow me to monitor uh, pulse width duty cycle a lot better. Um, and so just a little bit on this solenoid, this is ground side switched. This section up here is the off time, and this section down here is the on time. And so if you were to take and look at this, say from, from this point right here to this point right here would be one cycle of that signal, and this signal is occurring 2,200 times per second. Very, very fast on off signal. The way that this valve is controlled is with a variable on time. 
So if you watch this section down here, this is our on time. As we increase and decrease accessory loads, this is going to open up. So go ahead and do that. Drop it in gear. Uh, turn your headlights on, turn the AC on, turn the rear window defogger on. Watch this picture. What you're going to notice is this, this is going to grow. Do you see that? Now our frequency changed to, and that's unique to the design. We don't need to worry about that. But look at the difference of the on time in relation to the off time. And what has happened is this magnetic field has increased from an increase in current flow from a longer on time and this valve is now open further. So spring pressure keeps it closed, magnetic field is going to open it. This valve, uh, go ahead and turn, um, turn the accessories off and we'll watch that shrink. This valve is not opening and closing 1500 to 2000 times per second. It's the magnetic field that's expanding and collapsing that fast and it's a blend between magnetic field strength and spring pressure that's going to open this valve and that's what you're looking at. If you're looking for function of this valve, truthfully that's good enough. You can throw up some other measurements if you wanted to and that's as easy as clicking this button down here. You can do it from the top and you can select duty cycle for channel A and what's, what that's going to give you is the number, the percentage that that valve is on and off. Now in this case, this 61%, that's a representation of my off time. 61% off, do your math, 39% on. And so as you increase accessory loads, go ahead and do it again, this number is going to change in proportion to valve movement. And you're going to see this thing drop, which is going to be an increase in on time, right? This is showing the off time on time has increased. Off time has decreased, meaning the on time has increased. Solenoid controlled, idle air controlled mode.